what's up everybody today we're coming from a place in blue mountain named red light we're literally in the middle of the road running about we're here with drew binsky he's in jamaica and we're showing him what jamaica is all about the food the culture the spirit behind it Just get a breadfruit right here with Drew as well. Nice. And we, we just stop right in the Where this name is? Jamran Tree, welcome to Jamran. This is Tamran Tree, welcome to Jamran. Thank you very Give much. Give thanks here every time. Appreciate it. Wow, look at this thing, man. Ooh. Oh, it's heavy. That is a breadfruit. That is a rotted breadfruit, is what we call it. What does it taste like? It is just like bread, just starch. No, um, if you wait till it's ripe a little, it'll be a little sweet. Um, apart from that, it's very bland. Let's try it later. So we just stopped at the top to take a view of what's going on and out here is absolutely amazing. The entire Kingston heading up to Blue Mountain. Afternoon, afternoon. So we just stopped, there's a little rum bar heading up the hill and Jamaica has the most rum bars per square mile of anywhere in the world. I mean, one thing we're known for is religion and rum. Um, comes from our English descent, but Jamaican rum is some of the best rum in the world. Port Royal, we were pirates on this island and we still drink very, very hard. So you're saying this is a rum bar right here? This is a rum bar right here. We are nephew, that's 63% alcohol with no hangover after that. So pure sugar cane rum from Jamaica and it is simply amazing. That's something that we're known for by two, three o'clock. A lot of people skip work and start hitting up the bars here in Jamaica. Should we taste a little bit? Of course we have to. The right hand drive got you a while ago, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> <Sorry>. you saw <laughs> it? Sorry. Nice, dude. I love you guys. Yeah. That's hilarious. Then follow us. Yeah? Cool. Oh, it's here. And then where you want to go? Yeah. Alright. So heading up Blue Mountain, one more stop with Drew and the yes, gang. Yes sir. Trying to get to this Rasta man, but it's an adventure just to get there. If you look at the road, that's half the adventure. Yeah man. Yeah man. Jamaica man. It's not always about the destination, sometimes the journey. The journey, always. Yeah, Alright, let's hit it. <laughs> so you have the strawberry farm. Yeah man, in Blue Mountain, four greenhouses. Come this by, is man. awesome, the quality one. of the strawberry, just to run try into one. this passing, one, passing the road. Dude, one. let's go into this right now. This is my first day in Jamaica, man. First day? Yeah, first day in Jamaica. Well, try these. And we're going to try some Jamaican strawberries. Can tell you these are better than what you have in the Sure. Too loud. Alright. Can I try it? I feel like I'm in California right now. Yeah, man. Go I never think I'm in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Wow, look how red that is. Look at is. this. Bro. I mean, usually you see oh strawberries God. in Jamaica. Them, they don't even get to the size. Look at the size that you have. Blue Mountain Strawberry, what can be wicked at this? We're just on the side of the road. I never thought I would eat I brought oh, up shit. I never thought I would eat itself. strawberries in Jamaica. Yeah, man. But Cheers to strawberry. You'll, you'll never have them as sweet as this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Man. Oh, my Told God. <laughs> Told you, bro. Oh, my God. Hey, no, you. man. That's so That good. is amazing. Thank no, you. Nowhere I've traveled to that strawberry is so nice. Very sweet. A lot of the flavor is in there. It's not watered down it's beautifully grown perfectly ripe and look just, at that just handpicked and handpicked this morning from jamaica on blue mountains hey man we're I, i'm here in the blue mountains just kind of like trying to figure out the story like what's going on up here in, in terms of landslides culture lifestyle people yeah. lovely place man cool relaxing a lot of coffee the best coffee in the world comes from the hills and um, now we're using the hills for strawberries because you need certain temperatures for them to, to grow and the only place you can get these temperatures are really up here in the hills Cool man Like between 17 to 24 degrees And then you get a little sun which all plants need sun for photosynthesis mm -hmm. So you can't lose Cool man That's awesome you can't lose. And only, only problem is it's a long drive but it's worth it It's worth it man worth it. Worth it. Yeah It's only a pity you guys can't go all the way up because of the landslide Yeah If you could say one message about Jamaica to everybody in the world what would you tell them? Paradise Second, I love to, that. second to none. <laughs> Winner for the TV. Mm -hmm. Say that again? Re Winner for the TV? Winner for the TV. What does that mean? Winner for the TV. Alright, you, you watch horse racing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you, have a, when you have a thoroughbred that wins a race, 
he leaves everybody behind. So when you watch so it on TV, you've only seen one horse. <laughs> he has one off the TV. Okay. Yeah. Greatest, yeah. greatest country you'll ever find. Awesome, dude. But guys, yeah, I got to run. Give me a number. I appreciate it. Please. Give me a number. No, it's really good. I'm not even laugh. <laughs> dude. raving about the strawberries. Blue Mountain Berry Company strawberries. Mm. You know what I respect about you? I'm not good at describing food, but you just described those strawberries really well. Yep. I gotta learn from you. So we're in a blue mountain and we just say, you know, might as well we run a boat. Drew is here, so instead of even traveling anymore, we get them for light up the fire. And some light up the fire. You don't know, so I'll drop us inside for that. A roadside cooking we are dealing with today. I've been just around a boat so everybody in the community can get a little food out tight. But now I mean up with nothing. Drew still a talk to Rasta over here, so. It's a man named Okra Slime. Nah. Yes, yes, we have a tabernacle yeah, we worship you know, on the Sabbath yeah, day. The church, you know. Easy in a youth, that's easy in a... Yeah, we have a tabernacle on the hill where we worship okay. every Sabbath day. Every, when's the Sabbath day? Sunday? No, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Yeah, got seventh it. day. Every seventh day we worship yeah, every on the tabernacle. Got it, got it. Bible reading and... So you do read the Bible? Now you're being chanted, yes. So, so is Rastafari like an offshoot of Christianity? Is it well, similar? Rastafari is the true Christian. Okay. If you want to talk about Christian, Rastafari people is a true Christian. Okay, so you are a true Christian? Yes, sir. You got it. Yes, sir. And how many Rastafarians are like here? Is, is everybody Rastafarian or only some people? No, some. No, not everybody. Not everybody. But people who grow locks in Rastafari. Rice but this. What is that? Rice but. Rice but. Yeah. That's what they're going to cook the rice in. Yeah. So a Dutch pot of rice gone on the fire. I don't know what's going on in my life. So the team for the curry chicken. This is a straight pot. Yes, even in this terrible time, this terrible COVID, this ganja we smoke and burn out the COVID. Yeah. It's a burn out to COVID. Yeah, man. So, rain come down. They want to eat with Rasta. I got check on the food for them. Man, I'm put the thing up to start eating with the chicken and them thing there. Put water. Yeah, I stop the show. No. No time. So, I go on and chop up. So, man, I chop up the kitchen around the chicken around us. Yeah man, all the pepper and everything did it. Cut up the chicken them smaller, you know? Yeah man, make it think you rush yeah. everybody can get sick yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? A boat we are on, so. Hey, rice forward already, man. Yeah man, rice there, man. Start, start. So what he's doing now, he's just cutting yeah, up the chicken look. after this, he's going to season it up, put right. some curry on it and start it up. So right in the middle of the square, we just hear everybody's having a good time. There's Rasta over there giving Drew a foundation on what Rasta is. We over here so we wait on some food. <laughs> Start cooking the well. I don't even think them start cooking the food, but them pouring oil in the pot. Right, right, right. That's all. Rain and fall out, so we have to make a hurry up and make a mud run. Mud run, mud run, Yeah, man, oil gone in the pot. A little butter for making nice. Yeah, it's nice. Butter there. Yeah, man. Most Jamaicans you can't cook a pot of rice without a butter in there. We think the butter makes everything nicer, especially the rice. So we're there at chat and look like the man gone with the food in the pot. Like a street. Rice gone in. Yeah, man. So mix it. Making sure that the butter gets a little touch of every grain of rice yeah. so that you get yeah, that softness and that thing yeah, right yeah. through. Yeah, man. See. You don't want to settle to one side or to I'm one section. Major of water now with the yeah, rice. Yeah, man. So you know, say, add that amount of water to the rice. Yeah. You know, the hardest thing in our life is to cook a big pot of rice, you know. I used to be able to cook rice and peas before I was able to cook white rice. Fox. Okay. 
Just steer it up. Of that curry oh, starts to go in. You see one? Yeah, man. You can smell the curry start, the pure of it. Yeah, yeah. Make sure it's pepper. If you're dealing with curry, it's half a pepper. Everything off the pepper. Yeah, we didn't have scotch bonnet to feed and most things. Everything. Alright, don't look. I keep going some more down so you can see that curry smells amazing. The chicken is starting to start out, the rice is on the pot. Everybody just a bubble, the whole place is just a vibe up here in the countryside. Down to the dog on the road, poach. Down to poach there for the, for the, for the rumbling. So this are the chef who I deal with the pot right now. The, the chef know how I go on in the land with the food and yeah, thing, man. Yeah, man. Food with the man. Yeah, man. Every so Saturday, I deal with every every Saturday and Friday, yeah. So yeah, tell so them what your name. Thing. Chef White, man. Chef White. Yeah, and where we there? One day I come up in a red light. Red light. I go up in a strawberry hill. Yeah, man. Yeah, you can come on the stretch and you find me on the stretch every weekend, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Alright, that's all. Yeah. So that's what I'm showing you. We are literally in the middle of the road cooking. Drew just met them start run a boat. Yeah, this is a full boat that we're running here. We're in the middle of the road. We're in the man. middle of the like, road. Oh, I'm running a boat. The boat is the two parts that everybody eats. That's out the boat. Of. Yeah, man. That's the boat. That's the boat. Okay. So it's not, we're not sailing on the water. <laughs> no, 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 no. The boat went sailing. We're in the, the mountains, belly. man. There's no boats around here. <laughs> yeah, this is the real experience. I yeah, came man. to Jamaica, I met the food boss, and we we're having the best food that this country has to offer. Yeah, man. We have, figure, and we have food everywhere. Hell yeah. <laughs> Like, I've checked on the pot, the smell coming up. You can smell the curry, the pepper as well. I hope you're not too spicy for some of these people, but yeah, def yeah. definitely not going to spice for me. Yeah, so I'm going to rice, fluff up and nice, man. Where? Yeah, man. To me, I will get to go here. I will sing King Energy, I will just block your mind. Okay, no problem. I know, I know. I think she just said she's going to go. Rice, I'm almost ready, you know. Next 10 minutes, rice, can I eat, you know? Yeah, man. Story, I met him see my dog back Okay. From the last thing that I did, somebody said to me, when Jamaicans cook. You always hear them hit the pot with three, three times or something with the spoon and he just did it and I've seen it out as well many times. I do it myself, we're cooking and to get what the excess off of the pot, you hit it with either the spoon or the fork twice. Here we go again, watch again. I bet you any money that it, that it happens again. Bubble like soup. Bubble. Don't got bubble like soup, but I curry it. I curry this. Yeah. Real curry, is it? You know, sir, I don't have to touch that too for that. Oh, man. Yes, sir. See it there. Can't take it with more pepper, though. <laughs> yeah, man, want some pepper? Yeah, I'll put two more scotch back in there. You see? Actually, yeah, only guys want spice here because it's yeah, a, a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice is fine. If too much, it might be shitting your brains out. Yeah, you might have to tone it down right here <laughs> a little bit. Huh? Make, you see, because you can not always add pepper, you can't subtract. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just leave it right there. And then who want extra pepper will add the scotch bunny. Yeah, same so. I said no. Sorry. I'm going to set with that pepper in there. I'm making those go and see my down and build up some gravy. What them things that pop up? Pimento? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Pimento gravy. Mm -hmm. See them? Yeah, man. I don't know if you see it. Spice of Jamaica. Alright. Looking for a simmer, don't you know? 
So there you have it, curry chicken, we're running about, we just wait for it. Um, you know I'm adding extra pepper because we need enough pepper enough for wait curry. Pot still a bubbling, just to make it dry it down a little bit and take the rice off already. Make the gravy dry down a little bit and then we we'll take it off on a time to eat time. Yep. So, so, soon food time. So right now the boat is being shared out. Boat on the land. Yeah, on 20 so right boat. Now we're running boat the boat and, and they're dishing out for everybody. So as I told you before, when we run a boat, everybody eats out at the same time. Right. Yeah. So everybody sharing out for everybody. Every, all hands on deck now. And this is properly my first meal in Jamaica. Yeah, man, this is a real with first the food meal in Jamaica. And yeah. do, you, do you approve of this setting right here? This definitely approve. You can't get better yes. than this. We're in the Blue Mountains in yeah, the middle man. of the Mr. World. White, I cook it. And Mr. White, I cook down some wicked yeah. curry yeah. with the Scotch bonnet pepper yeah. in here. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. Come in here, you can get a drink here. There's different shops down the line. Just being in the whole atmosphere wow. of the Blue Mountains around tell us. Them, well, pop Highest peak in Jamaica. We gotta, we gotta get some rum. Right, yeah, too. right, I know. Tell them to pop up and say, Mr. White, put on something for you. No, we just pop up and say, run a boat, and Mr. White, no, say, yo. Turn on a lamp. Action. Oh my God. Yeah, man. So good. I'm here. Drew getting all the angles down here. We'll make sure that every part of the curry, everything in my sauce, though. We're getting there, bro. We're getting there. Yeah, come take up a food, bro. Say, I'll show you, I'll show you. What's it like, bro? Wait. They're all about to start grabbing plates. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, man. It's not cold, huh? Yeah, man. Fresh food. Sir. Yeah, man. Fresh food. <laughs> so we literally roadside, the food just come out. The lineup is on the counter right at the little shop that we stopped at. We're still here in the Blue Mountains, up here with Drew and the team and trust me. The curry looks amazing, everything looks fantastic. So let's see, the food smells absolutely amazing. That curry flavour, the distinct yellow of Jamaican curry when you put it down with that chicken and it starts to bubble. Mixed with that rice, you know the gra gravy has to be smothered on top of that rice for it to have that absolute Jamaican touch to it. So, you see how it's been prepared, we're lined up and excited. The mouth start water now, so full time. Full time? No lie, you hear that round here? <laughs> anyway, you come on. All right, now it's the flavor. I start early before I even start thin. The flavor is in it. It's, it's hitting all the right notes. This has the right curry flavor, the distinct heat of the scotch bonnet pepper. All of that just mixed up perfectly. Mm. You can also the rice have covered with the gravy as well. Drew's over here enjoying his. Yes, just sir. Like enjoying it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> his first proper meal in Jamaica and is a roadside curry this is chicken. This a good shit, man. I'm telling you. Come on. If only you could smell through the camera like what this smells like. If you could smell and taste, you'd be here. Come on. Today has been wicked. We're literally in the middle of the road, finishing up the food. We're here with Drew. He's experiencing Jamaica. Dude, this was your my, first meal. My belly's so happy right now. I just want to say thank you to Matt, the food boss. It's 
It's gonna be an awesome experience in this country. Yeah, Hopefully we don't get hit by a car right now. Right? No, we ended up in No, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Much more to come from Jamaica, yeah, man. man. Thank you. Love. Let's Respect. do the tiger. The tiger paw. Lion paw. Lion paw. Lion tiger. Paw. Oh my god. <laughs> Lion paw. <laughs> <laughs> oh,